this is Gali Gopharp and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling visionary because today our quote of the day is, the only thing worse than being blind is having sight but no vision by Helen Keller. One thing that very much inspired me was the fact that Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple Computers, made his Apple ad campaign in 1997 before he even had a product. He made his vision into a reality by taking the first step. Once making the ad, he of course could not turn back. He had to go through with it no matter what. This is the power of having a vision and taking the risks to share your vision with others so that they, so that you can move forward and they can move forward as well. This sharing forms a commitment to either make a fool out of yourself or hold through as long as it takes and work towards making your vision a reality. When you have the vision of how things should be in your mind, even when they aren't there for you to see right in front of you, or even they aren't even in existence yet, then you already have the foundation for transforming that vision into reality. When you commit to your vision, providence moves in and helps you create it. You don't have to figure out all the steps of how to get there. You can never do that. Because if your vision is something new, even if it's only new for you, then you have not been there yet and you are not aware of all the steps needed to get you there. You cannot foresee all of the steps, but you can start. You can take the first step and then the next and then the next after that until your vision becomes your reality. Even the most complex achievements that seem really impossible to have been made they were made possible, such as Bill Gates and Microsoft, Jeff Bezos and Amazon, Steve Jobs and Apple, and now Elon Musk and Tesla and SpaceX. If you examine these extreme cases carefully, you can see that all was done in a series of steps, beginning with the first logical step, and then the next logical step, and then the next one, and so on. But you have to be in the game to know the next logical step. Most often than not, you cannot foresee it in advance. It may seem so complex that you do not even know where to start, but all you need to do is find that first step that you can take from where you are right now and do it. And then make a new plan every day. And when you are in a situation that you cannot follow your plan, as I said before in, in previous videos, do not compromise your dream. Find a way an out-of-the-box way that will help push you forward. When you have a vision, that vision produces passion within you. For the You want the result. You have passion to see the result in the future. And this passion, this fire, turns on your engines. You never need to worry because you will always know the next step to take once you get started. And you will always have it in you to take that next step. All you have to do is start. To get the ball rolling. Nothing is impossible. You have to believe this. A way will always show up. It's like running in the dark when with a flashlight on, uh, on your head. All you uh, can see is the next step. You can't see it one moment, one moment before you are ready to take it. But when you are ready to take that next step, then it will show up in front of you. Every step, no matter how small, moves you one step closer towards your vision. Every complex achievement was made from taking small, simple actions. As Jim Rohn said, these actions are just as easy to do as they are not easy to do. So choose to do them. The limiting factor is never anything external. It is always you. Your choices, your beliefs, and your actions are the only things that can be limiting factors on your way towards realizing your vision. They say that if you do not have a vision for your life, then you will be living in the past. It is the vision that pulls you forward, pushes you forward. Your vision will inspire you to move forward and take action.
So what exactly is a vision? It is the sight in your mind of how things should be, how they can be, and how you can help them become that way. The vision of what should be is not only seen, but it is felt in every bone of your body. It generates energy that fuels you to take action to achieve the vision that you have. When you know your vision and it is clear to you, your relationships will only be those who are supportive of your dreams and your vision. Your time will be spent mainly on your vision and your habits will be well chosen or improved to help you align yourself and your life with your vision. Your vision should be clear, specific, and detailed so that it is always pointing you towards a specific future, the future that you want, that you vision, you visualize. So what do you do if you don't have a vision? Well, you can't find your vision through normal thought processes. Your vision has to come from your heart. You uh, should spend time in nature, contemplating, meditating, daydreaming, and letting your creativeness flow from you at times when you're not held by the constraints of time, when you're not under pressure, when your mind is free to wander and imagine things as you would like them to be. I would also suggest asking for help from the unified field or from higher power or, or, or the power that you believe in that exists. You have to have the time and freedom to dream big and to use your creativity and allow your imagination to run a little wild. Your vision comes from your heart, so you will feel it when you know it. And your vision is the way you really want and, things think, and think that things should be. A real vision is always positive and supportive for many more people than, your, than only yourself. A vision improves the world in some way or manner. Think to yourself, what would you like to be remembered for at the end of your life? For which special accomplishment? And ask yourself what you are extremely passionate about and how do you vision the world to be a better place? Once you have discovered your purpose through previous videos that I have in this uh, coach, life coaching series, then you can create your vision. And once you create your vision, take the first step towards making your vision a reality. And then show up daily and take action with a persistent attitude. Continue to do this daily and see how fun, adventurous, and exciting life can be. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that will help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, what is my vision for my life? Now, if you don't have one, spend the free to spend your free time in introspection until you discover your vision. If you know, on the other hand, exactly what your vision is, then ask yourself, what am I doing daily in living out for living out my vision? As usual, I recommend writing these questions in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions, so that you can look over them and see and ensure that you are moving your life to a better place for you. So to finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I am breathing light, life into my vision every single day by taking the right actions and choices. I am breathing life into my vision every single day by taking the right actions and choices. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so, because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to make sure that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, please visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, for anything to help you improve your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining me.